Okay, uh, <clears throat> today's the uh, January 17th, 2012. Just making my first video uh, dealing with using the RS Logix 500 uh, software. And um, the hardware is a Micrologix 1100 unit uh, mounted in a, a lab vault uh, training module. Uh, which makes it easier for the input and output interface. Now I'm looking at uh, the <coughs> Program Logic Controller Student Manual, uh, that's uh, code 36017-00, Exercise 2. And Exercise 2 starts on page 2-1. Uh, basically it's a, um, a PSA, PLC ladder program for controlling a water pump uh, there's two level switches, uh, water level low and water level high. Now I've just started writing this code and uh, I'm going to just show you how I put this uh, program together. I'll just talk about what I've got done so far. Uh, you can make a comment at the top here, so uh, edit comment and it just describes what I've talked about. And um, we've got the, uh, some, the switch contacts um, if I double click on that, it's I uh, double colon 0 dash 0 and I double colon 0 dash 1. And if I click on the data file for the input, these are the, these inputs, um, not all of them at the moment, but some of them are actually hardwired to the uh, uh, external input. Uh, hard, hard inputs to the uh, micro uh, PLC microcontroller. Um, so I've used 0 and 1 there. Now, out on the end of this first rung here, we've got an output, but this is a virtual output. Um, the uh, This array here of uh, 16 bits are digital bits that can be used for virtual relays. So basically, um, I've used one of those. There's, a, I've selected a user-defined uh, uh, output energize coil, and I've uh, described, uh, I've set the label as B3 double, double colon three backslash zero, which so that means I'm using the first one of these bits here. <clears throat> and now I'm going to add uh, an output coil which is going to be a virtual coil and uh, that will go on rung 3 so I'll extend that that's going to be the end one so it should be rung 2 and I'll grab one of these um, this will be a normally closed one and I'll drag that down to here double click on it and that will be B3 zero backslash zero. So these two are connected now. There. So this uh, function here can write to that bit address, effectively writes to that bit address, and this function here effectively reads from that bit address. So these two are linked together by the same bit address, but their operation is different. This one writes to it and this one reads to it. But it, but it acts like a virtual relay, uh, where this is the virtual relay coil, and this is the virtual virtual relay contacts. Now we'll just pause right there and we'll make another video after this soon.